Now audio recording for this I cannot provide uh, specifically I am referring to what exactly was done not only to me but I understand also to other people that claim political asylum uh, in Poland against Russia in my case against Belgrade and Moscow I cannot provide you with audio recording because, as you know, I was told, I was called to Warsaw and told uh, just one audio recording from your, you know, roommates, cohabitants of the center, state employees, and you're done. That's pretty much what the order was. So there will be no audio recording about that stuff, but I can tell you that. I guarantee you, in fact, you know what I mean. I have heard from other people that there were very similar situation like mine, did not go as far as mine, um, that ended people being expelled, I should say repatriated back to their country of the origin even even that through procedure known as driving individual insane till he would commit something like a violent act the next thing that would happen would be just they would come to pick him up with ambulance vehicle pack him load him in the ambulance vehicle inside of the mental hospital and from there back to his point of origin in his country whatever he came from okay so i'm not talking about you know if they decline to give you political asylum option if you're from the third country and you enter the european union you are repatriated most likely to point of entry through whichever country you entered um, before you arrive to, let's say, Poland or whatever country. I'm not talking about this, um, which is the option for most of the people. <laughs> for most of the people it is. I am not even talking about option of my own, since I am European Union citizen, US citizen. Um... I have the right to stay in any European Union country for at least a period of three months. Uh, search, search for employment, and the case is no different uh, with a Poland if eventually uh, they would not, they would totally decline me the right to protection in Poland. I still have the right to stay here and search for employment. In my case, uh, in case I'm talking about, and which pertains the most to my case, however, which is really exclusive case. The plan, however, was not to give me the option that, you know, I would be returned, let's say, to Slovakia where I enter, from where I enter to Poland, or would have the right to stay here, or would have the right to move to another European Union country. But if they would be successful enough, I'm talking about the Rus Ruskines here in the center, um, they would actually manage to accomplish to repatriate me back straight into the mental hospital in Slovenia. This is how the hell this was done. This is why the hell this thing was done. Now, if you've seen my videos and you add to the stuff just they have done to me, like material-wise destruction uh, and situation with the library, you know, remote location that you have to commute yourself to the city about two hours away from here. Situation in which the same actors were used as under MK Ultra. This is how exclusive, this is how heavy this case. And then think about how slender your chances are uh, that you would actually not go off and display some form of violence, something. Um, 
get physical with the people like this, laughing in your face after destroying the stuff, what exactly are your chances? It did happen, according to the gentleman, who is my roommate, it did happen in Denbach from where I came from. And it was the same, it was the same like here, you know. You cannot go and author the insisted, you know. If it was a Polish police, I doubt it. That things are, cannot be done anymore like this by the owners and this and that. That's a BS. Let me explain something. Let me let me just explain something. Owners of the center don't run Polish immigration. That's one thing. That's one thing. Polish immigration center in Warsaw, in Denmark, is also not run by these owners. It's run by the Polish state. Well, these people did everything possible to accommodate me within the limits of whatever they possibly could do for me to, to, to accommodate me. That's all I can say. And if that was just a kindness, it was nice. Um, and I want to thank them for that matter. What Russians on the other guy on the other hand got the cry babies Moscovici they complained they bitched all the time to them about they were not happy about anything and anything they wanted they got they got anything they could do and they did with me at this center whatever the hell they want to do and it was still not enough they still cried and cried and cried and complained it's sickening when you think that you actually are in this kind of circumstances. I admire these owners. I admire them that they even they they even go that they even went through this deal. This is difficult. I don't know. They alone had a hard time to go through with it. Deal with this stuff. So you know this is just not the way it is. When I said Polish police, not everybody. The Polish police, it was very particular people that would do certain things if it was a Polish police, if it was not a KGB. KGB, KGB is the insane stuff here in Poland. They did crazy, crazy stuff. Some stuff I already have spoken about. There is more stuff I'm going to spoke about when I go over Zgir city when I talk about the stewards what they have done what kind of stuff they have done and so on <laughs> so that was the primary goal of this whole thing and the way they organize themselves bes beside the stuff that you have besides the stuff that you have seen and I have talked about they would have a groups I understand, it's what I was also told, and from what I have seen, definitely I can confirm this. It would be, I mean, it's, imagine that somebody subject to MK Ultra, the type of assignment I had to go to the city, recognize people and businesses and stuff like this, get proofs, and that you are with individual with your... I'm not going to say opponent, adversary, but an idiot that just want to prove on behalf of someone, um, you know, just evil, I'm going to say. With you, you're limited to the internet, you don't have a place to go, nothing you can do, in the same room, and he's got basic control to interfere with your work, with your stuff, and so on. Uh, basically, the last minute, in addition to all other stuff, gesture you that he's trying to help you at the same time he is effing you. And you got the whole group of people supporting him in that kind of stuff from the outside. I just got to release a lot of stuff. Um, for you to understand yet uh, what the hell went on here okay but 
this was the main plan. The main plan was to create an incident, something, get me off, something to, so that I would do something so they could say, yes, he's violent, he's got this kind of problem, something like that. When MK Ultra took place here, I actually doubt that Mr. Hassan, who said that he was that there was a bombing in Chechnya and that he suffered uh, injuries due to bombing. Because I remember an American guy from Wisconsin. He was a younger guy that... He was in the room and they evaluated the stuff, how they would see things as they were exposed to. He would go off, boy, and start to pound this Hassan. It would be blood all over the place. So I think that actually his nasal problems that he has are not really related to the Chechnya. I think they're related to times of MK Ultra here in the center. Because I think that if it was only one guy, one guy I have seen, but I have heard there were others too. Boy, that guy pounded him in front of me that, um, you know, you, you would not believe. The next thing I heard was, get the animal away and uh, destroy him, basically. And I don't know what happened to this Wisconsin guy. Was a little bit chubby guy. That's how that went. So I doubt about that stuff too. This is a wild, wild place. Um, the people that were the foremost uh, involving this stuff were gone, it disappeared. The people, the, th the whole crew, that they would do the stuff like that. Except for this guy, Hassan, is still here. Uh, and hmm, there is some other stuff too, but nothing compared to what used to be. This is now like a holiday place compared to what it used to be. Okay? So that was basically the primary plan. The primary plan is you're not even returned to the point of entry uh, or released from immigration system, but you're re you are returned to the point of origin of which citizen you are. And that results most likely inside of the mental hospital. That's a death right there. That's what Mr. Kaczynski had in plan for me, I should say Mr. Trump. Or Kaczynski because the two play, the two are in bed with one another.